I'm Ng Kok Song. I hope to be your next president. When I graduated in physics, I had to serve my bond with the Singapore government. So I went for an interview in the Public Services Commission and the chairman of the panel said, oh, there is a vacancy in the Ministry of Finance. Are you interested? I said, I have no choice. That is how me, with zero knowledge, gradually became the Chief Investment Officer of GIC. That was my big chance in life. The moment in my childhood which motivated me in life was when my mother had to go to our neighbours in our village to borrow money for me to buy school books. When mum came home, she said to me, Kok Song, our neighbours have no money to lend us. And she cried. I was maybe 12 years old. And from that moment, I resolved I do not want my mother to cry again. That was the strongest motivation for me to study hard and to work hard and to lift my family out of poverty. I think the best advice that I got was from my father, my late father. One day he said to me, he says, Kok Song, do not boast about your achievements. Do not talk about how much contribution you have made. It's better for other people to talk about what you have achieved. I think that was very, very good advice which I have you know, taken to heart throughout my entire career. Teamwork, the will to lead, clarity of mind. The poor, because I was poor. People of my generation were poor, but we were so fortunate that we had the opportunity. It is more difficult today. We have less social mobility. For us to stay united as a country, we should not leave the poor behind. I want to be able to engage all of Singaporeans in a better understanding of our reserves, because that is the critical function of the President. The reserves are strategically important to Singapore as a safeguard against emergency, against war or pandemics. I want to explain to the people of Singapore how our reserves benefit present generation and also future generations of Singaporeans. It is important for Singaporeans to understand that our president is not there to make trouble for the government. Because if that were to happen, we would have a dysfunctional government. So the president, if I may describe it, is a stabiliser, not a disruptor. For 14 years, I was a widower. I had never expected to have another partner in life. But four years ago, I found that I had fallen in love again. And to my great happiness, I discovered that Sybil too liked me. She was introduced to me by a mutual friend. She had an investment background. I thought that she could become a prospective client of my company, Avanda. But we never talked about my company because I was distracted by her. It was important for Sybil to address the people of Singapore. She's going to be my love and my strength as I contest the presidency and if I become president. Because of how much progress we have made as an economy, because of the stability that we have, people of different races living in harmony, we are a model to the world. We are a beacon of light 
So my hope is that we continue to build on this solid foundation which our previous generation of leaders have helped us to develop.